and welcome to my channel. I am Jamie from Southern Revivals here today with another unboxing video from Globin. Globin is a monthly subscription box where you get to choose the theme for the month. Um, this month for July, I have chosen the sizzle theme. I am going to grab, well, I'm going to have to sneak something out here first so that I can grab, and I want you to see but you probably already caught a glimpse. Okay, so I'm gonna try and find the pamphlet. There it is, that comes with each box. It tells you a little bit more about the products within the box, as well as the artisans who make these products. So Globin, again, is a monthly subscription. Um, the Globin company is a fair trade company, which means that the artisans who produce work for them get paid fair wages. So I'm gonna show you the first thing that I took out since you kinda got a sneak peek of it already anyway it is a bamboo food tent that is meant for keeping bugs gnats flies all of those pesky things that you might encounter at an outside picnic um speaking of i am outside and i do live on a small hobby farm so if you hear the roosters in the background it's just them responding to the fact that i am speaking so um the bamboo food tents are made in vietnam um let's see this is a little bit more about the artisan who has made these food tents by hand and it says um quinn which I don't know if I'm spelling that correctly, it's Q-U-Y-N-H, lives in Sundong Village um, outside of Hanoi in northern Vietnam. With the income he makes from working with bamboo, he is able to support his wife and three children. To make his tents, he collects natural bamboo poles um, growing in his region and splits them into smaller, thinner strips, and then he rounds the strips together and forms the shape of a tent. He is both a farmer and a craftsman in the village, and in order to subsidize the income he makes from agriculture, he produces these bamboo tents. That is amazing. Um, I like to make things too, but I don't have any great special skills passed down through generations and that amazes me plus um you know it's kind of like getting um travel wares without travel so um the next thing i'm going to show you is from africa and not only is it edible but it is also beautiful it's glass so it is wrapped really well and there's an, something else in there too let me put that aside so hmm Okay, this is called, oh, it's wrapped really well. This is going to take me just a second to get into this bubble wrap. All right. Yes, very well wrapped. Okay, all set. So, this is called, and this has got such a beautiful little decoration at the top. These are hot drops. Can you see? Do I have that correctly? No, I don't. There we go hot drops perfect so this is a fermented for chili sauce i am all about um, fermented products i do a lot of kombucha and kefir and sourdough at home um, hot drops for chili is made in south africa go Established in March of 1996, the co-founders Nigel and Michael cooked up vast pots of Swazi, Zulu, Malawi, and Umsobo, Yababa, sorry, in the backyard of Nigel's bright pink house on Rose Street in Vokap, South Africa. Years later, Yukiva I, Africa, was born. So it's a Yukiva which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I Africa is translated from Isi Ihosa. So it means the sense of Africa or the full spectrum of the experiences in Africa. So these sauces and spices are based on the full experience or the full spectrum of Africa and many African flavors. The company in partnership with Turgle Trading focuses on developing these many flavors while providing jobs to women and youth in South Africa. The beads and the tassels on the Yukiva Eye Africa products which mimic the neck adornments, which is exactly what it made me think of. I didn't know that was purposeful. Uh, worn by traditional African women and even ethically made, uh, handmade by the Cape Mental Health Society, a work haven for the mentally handicapped from the township around Cape Town. That's awesome. 
So I can't wait. I don't know what we're going to use this in yet, but um, my hope is again at the end of these videos to provide you guys with ideas for how I've used products or recipes. Um, the book here probably also, let's see. Yes, it does. It does have a recipe at the end. So a lot of times there will be a recipe or some helpful information at the end. Um, my rooster he is is he's watching me speak to no one and is speaking back so i apologize if you hear that and it's distracting um the next thing i'm going to show you is a stainless steel spreader um with it's got it's made it's handmade a stainless steel spreader it's a white handle it is made in india So the lead artisans who worked on your stainless steel spreaders are Mode Race, Mode Reyes, age 27, and Moed Imran, age 25. So young. Um, they oh they found comfort and home and with Noah's Ark over the past three years. As just a short time ago, it was difficult for them to find work. Due to your order, Moed Reyes and Moed Imran have earned enough money to work towards their dreams. Moed Reyes hopes to use his savings to pay for the marriages of his sisters. That's beautiful. And Moed Imran hopes the money toward um, towards buying a house to save some money toward buying a house and getting married. Um, thanks to your thanks to the scrupulous workmanship of Moed Reyes and Moed Imran, you can use your spreader to share hummus uh, on pita bread or brie the baguette at a party. And Foghorns, he's got ideas too. Okay. So my computer has died. So hopefully I can show this spreader to you without seeing myself. We shall see. Hopefully you can see that. It's very beautiful, very sturdy, very heavy, just like all of the other products. Um, I did get an add-on with this box. So again, I'm really hoping that I am able to show this to you. The final thing that is in this box is a bread basket. It's called a Chindi bread basket. Chindi weaving is one of the most sustainable art forms supported um, by Matar Bhumi. I wish that I could pronounce all of these names. This is made in India. Um, the origins of Chindi weaving come from a humble place. Historically, women began upcycling old cotton clothing um, in order to create useful items for their homes to save money and resources. Cotton scraps and sustainable jute fibers are woven together and sewn to create everything from rugs and baskets to trivets. These materials get to live a second life as beautiful, colorful home additions such as your new bread basket. So not only only um, is it handmade, but it's also upcycled materials that um, Matter Bumi partners with a small group of 12 women artisans located in the state of Rajasthan in northwest India. They live in a rural area in a small village that is well connected to the markets, allowing them to easily transport products through their craft. And thanks to your order, they are now gaining independence and participating in training to polish their skills. So, oops, I don't think I showed you this. Hopefully you can see it because my MacBook has died, so I can't see myself. Okay. Oh, oh, there is, there's more in here to show you. So here's the bread basket, and these are the... Um, these are the jute fibers obviously on the outside of the basket and then the handles are the upcycled saris cotton fabrics and then there's a little bit more about um matabumi and basket weaving there and this is i'm excited to use this for the sourdough bread um, that i have become addicted to i found I've tried so many recipes and finally found several recipes that um, that are just perfect and so like I said before I really um, enjoy fermented food so this basket will be perfect for a sourdough boulet recipe that I've recently discovered it is amazing so I'll try and share that with you um, I was thinking that that was the last thing in the box which is crazy because the biggest and best thing is down here at the bottom I do have one add-on to share with you as well but let me show you the final thing that's in the box this one is actually from Morocco. It is a Moroccan meze plate. The creator behind these plates is one of um, Globin's very talented artisans um, and they're very favorite and talented artisans. Ablis. Okay. Abdelazam. Abdelazam. Abdelazlam. I think that's correct. Was born in Meknes region of Morocco but currently resides in Marrakesh where he and his artisan group produced ceramics. 
So can't see much about the hand painting on this plate here, but you can see the artisan there. Let me take out the plate. And I don't know what's happening over there at the chicken coop, but I think they just want their 15 minutes of fame, to be completely honest with you. All right, let me be super careful because I am sitting on a concrete patio, which does make me very nervous. But So you can't see from the photos the beautiful hand painting techniques that are on this plate, but you also can't tell just how sturdy. I've said this before, the ceramics and glasses available at Globe Inn are very sturdy. Can you see the beautiful hand painting done on this Moroccan platter? So it's kind of... Um, it's a smaller size, so it's great, I think, for a pita and um, pita bread and hummus. I also have a recipe that I'm going to include at the end of the video for a uh, grilled shrimp wrap and mango salsa that I thought would go perfectly in here. It's also um, almost uh, individual size, too, so you could even use this as a plate. Um, I'm going to sit this over here. And so finally, um, I've mentioned before that the first of the month with Globin, you first of the tenth of the month with Globin, you get to choose your themes. So they'll offer several basket themes to you so you can choose your favorite. If you have a subscription that where you've paid in advance, you do get first dibs on those themes before they sell out. And then after you choose that theme, they have an add on sale like a lot of subscription companies do. You can add additional things to your box that are not available. Some of the things are things that are available in other uh, baskets. So if you find that you want one basket over the other, but you really want the little bowls that come with the different basket, you can add those as add ons. Some of the other things are things you don't see except during the add-on sale, okay? So this is something that I chose, which I thought went perfectly with this theme. And it also matches my chindi bread basket. And it is a tortilla warmer. So this is it here. So, like I said, it matches, which was completely unintentional because um, when you get these products, you get assorted colors. So, the fact that it matches is just a bonus. Um, and this, so I'm going to read a little bit before I take this off and show you how it works. Um, it, so, it has, it's made in India. And let's see, at Casa Amorosa, our products tell a story with every stitch. We proudly choose to choose developed designs as well as patterns that celebrate diversity. With our beautiful Latino product line, you will enjoy and share the Latino lifestyle and culture. So, again, this is made in India. And it's how to use the basket. So you'll heat the your tortillas um, on a caramel or skillet in the micro or in the microwave. And then you open up the basket cover. So I'm gonna slide this off. Open up the basket cover and place your tortillas inside and cover and serve. So I so you don't put this in in an oven, right? You don't microwave for more than 30 seconds. You can't put it directly in the oven, and of course you don't place it near a fire or a flame. But anyway, you open the top here. So there's three, four flaps to help keep your tortillas warm. And there's the inside. And the great thing about this, in my opinion, is that it slides off of this little bamboo tray here so that it can be washed. Right? So you just wash this and you can reuse it and it's clean every time. So that's it for my sizzle box. Again, I've already gone over with you the fact that you can choose your theme from the first to the 10th of the month, and then after that, you have the option of the add-on sale. Finally, you get um, a couple of days of what's called a VIP sale. The, the VIP sale are some things that are from the artisan shop or some things that you don't find anywhere else that are on sale at a discount. Those two things, the add-ons and the VIP sale, are only available to subscribers. They also have an artisan shop that you can shop at, whether you're a subscriber or not. That is a separate um, option and I was gonna look and see I did have oh I do so I do have a code for shopping in the artisan shop I have no idea whether I'm gonna be able to show this to you properly or not hopefully you see that 
also um, so this is a code again for the, uh, the artisan shop only but if you are interested in doing a subscription box there is a code down below to get your first box for ten dollars again the boxes are fifty dollars per month that includes your shipping and also products that value far more than your fifty dollars so if you're interested in trying it out signing up please use the code below to get ten dollars off your first subscription i hope you've enjoyed today's video please subscribe take a moment to subscribe and hit that bell so that you can be notified the next time that i upload a video i will be back with more subscription boxes soon and other diy lifestyle and recipe videos in the future thanks so much how about a sriracha shrimp wrap with mango salsa to go with your new moroccan platter click here for the recipe and don't forget down below get your first box for only ten dollars